Hey everybody, it's day five at the Revere Beach International Sand Sculpting Festival. <laughs> Abe's been working really hard, hasn't he? <laughs> He's taking a nap on the pile. Well, as you can see, so much has happened since yesterday, and this is a pretty exciting moment right now because they're taking off one of these forms. And that's always a lot of work, but it's also where we see how well we did on our pound up. So you can see Mark pulling out those wires. We tell you that it is just sand and water, so those wires that we put on to hold the forms together do have to come out of the sand. So they're taking the wires out. Ben over here is pulling out all the nails, and they will take those pieces of wood off panel by panel. Um, you can also see Mel up there. You've been watching her for three or four days now, and she and Abe and uh, somebody else was up there working on the craters. That looks really cool on the moon. You can also see that the logo wall is coming along nicely. We have a lot of the sponsors' logos done now. Really nice to see the sharp, deep lettering on those. You can see Adrian. She's a local. She's helping us out with some logos over there. Adrian, how you doing? Everybody knows Adrian. Everybody wave to Adrian. <laughs> All right, also earlier today, the sculptors started putting their forms together. So we're going to go take a look at that and show you how that all happens. Okay, well, Bob and I were walking over to check out the forms. We passed uh, Ilya's sculpture that we took a look at yesterday, and you can see how beautifully it's coming along. He now has help from Alex. Alexi is um, from Russia as well, and this is his first year here in Revere. And what we let them do is come into the pit while well, we actually encourage them to come into the pit and feel the sand and work with the sand if they've never worked with it before they all hear how great it is but they love when they actually get a chance to work with it so alexi is here helping out Ilya and getting a feel for the sand and then also you can see where dan doubleday is over there uh, somebody stepped into the future and acquired a flat screen tv that we did not have 50 years ago, but we're taking advantage of our technology today, and we are actually going to have a real TV in there. Dan is doing the framework. The TV is going to fit right inside there, and you will be able to watch the actual footage of the moon landing. So that's really exciting. We're looking forward to that. That's a really neat effect that we're going to have this year. Okay, now let's go take a look at the formwork. Okay, so for those of you who have been watching us and following us, um, you know how to put forms together. You've seen us do that. But for those of you who haven't been watching and you're just joining in now, you can see off in the distance here a couple of the red shirts. Those are sculptors. And they're putting the forms together inside their plots. They're allowed to do this ahead of time. Uh, they know what they're going to sculpt. Most of them know what they're going to sculpt. And they configure these forms to a basic block shape that their sculpture will fit inside that outline of a shape. Uh, it doesn't help them at all it's structurally. This is just still sand and water. But they all have to figure out what size forms they want to use. And they put them together today. And they have to stay outside of the competition area. So you see the piles to the right and the forms to the left. That's because they can't put those on the plot, uh, on the plot actually until the competition starts. And one of the safety features we do have though is when the competition starts and they're moving those heavy forms around, they actually help each other to lift those up and get them into the plot for safety reasons. Okay, just to the left of the centerpiece, you can see this form that is sitting here that hasn't had anything done to it other than pounding it up. And that is because this is an individual sponsor sculpture. And we have a company this year called Whimsies, All Natural Dog Treats. And this is going to be their very own personal sculpture. They took advantage of the opportunity to be a sponsor for an individual sculpture. They'll get a lot, thousands and thousands of photographs taken uh, of this sculpture itself. Now, we're going to be doing this on Wednesday and Thursday. They're going to have their own time, time lapse on it. So that's what we're scheduled for is Wednesday and Thursday for this sculpture. Okay, but until then, we might be getting a little bit of rain this afternoon. So if we do, um, don't be alarmed. The sculptures aren't going to go anyway, anywhere. It would literally take hours and hours and hours of pouring rain to do any damage. And what it does is it kind of just takes away the fine detail. We also do have a precaution with the shorter sculptures, the logo walls, 
maybe this TV area over here that we can cover them with the plastic if we see that the rain is going to be coming down really hard. So we'll see tomorrow morning how we made out with the weather. Until then, follow us. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.